In this tutorial, we will show you how to build an external service desk with Jira Service Management. We will allow customers to create tickets through a portal, email, and through Slack channels. Stay tuned for the full tutorial. First, let's go and get a new free Jira service management instance. You can use JSM for free as long as you have a maximum of three agents. Click Next. We will sign up using our Gmail account, but you can sign up through any email account. Verify that you are not a bot by completing the required validation. Enter the URL for your site and click Agree. The instance is now being built. Wait for a few minutes. Now that our Jira Service Management instance is built, let's create our external Jira Service Management project. Click on Create Project. You now have access to multiple out-of-the-box templates that have predefined request types and unique workflows. Let's go ahead and select the Customer Service Management template. This template has eight predefined request types and a simple workflow. Enter a name for the project. We will name it Customer Service Desk. Note that the key is automatically being populated as CSD. Leave the team type as Customer Service. Also, select Open for the channel access so that anyone can submit requests to this project. Click on Create Project. The project has been created. We will now begin setting up the project to allow customers to create tickets via the portal, email, and chat channels. Let's first go to the portal's URL that was created for this project. The link takes you to the portal with the predefined request types. Let's browse through a few request types to see their content. As you can see, it has basic fields that can be entered to create a ticket. Now, let's begin customizing the portal. Click on Customize Settings in the Portal Options. Let's update the introduction text to our MSA Rebels portal. We will also add a logo. Click on Add Logo. Save the changes. Let's go back to the external portal and refresh the page. You can now see that the changes are reflected. Now, let's go back to the Get Started panel and set our email support configurations. Click on Add Custom Email Address. Different email account types can be integrated. In our project, we will use a Gmail account. Select the Gmail account you want to add. Ensure that you check off the option to allow JSM to read, compose, and send emails. Click Continue. Now that we have the email configured, we need to map it to a service request. On the top right, select the ellipsis options and click on Configure Email Request Types. By default, notice that there is an existing predefined email support address. What we need to ensure is that the new email address is mapped to the email request type. You can modify this mapping if you would like. 
but we will keep the default configuration. Click on Save. Let's go back to the Get Started panel. You can see that the new email address has been configured. Let's go ahead and configure the chat channels. Click on Configure Chat Channels. You have the options to integrate it with Slack or Teams. In our scenario we will choose Slack. Ensure that you have a Slack workspace already configured. Select the Slack workspace and click on Accept and continue to integrate Slack with your Jira service management project. Enter the validation code. Click on Allow. As you can see, the connection has been established. Now, let's select the request types that you would like to have available for the users to create in the chat channels. Let's now set the channel where the agents will be addressing the new requests. We will leave the default channel name, but feel free to update it if you would like. Click Create. Now, we will select the request channel where users can ask for support. Select Create Request Channel. Leave the default name and click on Create. You can also see which request types are enabled for the chat channel. You can also add emoji shortcuts to help agents transition statuses or set fields. Finally, you can also set various options such as having private chat requests, allowing approvals and allowing predefined bot responses. We are now done with the chat configurations. Let's go back to the Get Started panel. We will now make updates to the existing request types and customize them. Click on Customize Request Types. Since we are building a simple customer portal, let's rename one of the request types and hide the ones that are not relevant. Select the Technical Support Request Type. You can add fields by dragging existing fields to the form if you would like. For this tutorial we will keep it simple and just update the title. Save the changes. Let's go back to the portal and hide request types that are not relevant. To hide a request type, click on the ellipses of the request type you would like to hide. Select Edit. Leave all groups unselected to hide it. Let's go back to the Get Started panel. The last step is to set the organizations and customers settings. You can enter customers who you would like to invite. Click on Add Customers. On the top right, click on Add Customers. Enter the customer's email address and select Add. Click OK to add the customer. An email invite will be sent to the customers. Having customers added manually gives you control on who can access your portal. However, for this external service desk, we want to open it up to anyone. Therefore, we need to update the customer permissions. From the project settings, go to Customer Permissions. For the channel access, make sure you select Open so that anyone can submit a ticket. For the customer sharing options, we will select the first options to only share with other customers within their organizations. The last step on the permissions is to update the customer access settings where you will need a Jira admin to update. Under the external section, ensure that you allow portal-only accounts to be created for new customers accessing the help center. 
for the portal access section. Allow customers to create their own accounts by signing up or sending an email request. Additionally, for the widget functionality, we need to allow the customers to create requests without logging in, so this option needs to be checked off. Save the changes. Let's validate our configurations. We are logged in as a customer and looking at the email invite. Click on the sign up URL and sign up. We have now access to the portal. Let's create a new ticket. Let's now switch to the agent's view. Open the new ticket that was created. We will start working on the ticket and assign it to ourselves. We will switch back to our customer's view and refresh the page. We can see the changes have been reflected with the new comments from the agent. When we go back to our inbox, we can also see that an email notification was sent with the changes to the ticket. We will switch back to the agent's view and resolve the ticket. When we go back to the customer's view and refresh the page in the portal, all changes reflect that the ticket has been resolved. Let's validate the email support. From the customer's inbox, let's compose an email to the MSA Rebel's email address. From the agent's view, we can see that the email has been received. Let's open the ticket. Note that the email subject is the ticket summary and the body is the description. We can also see the customer's information. Let's start working on the ticket and transition the ticket to in progress. Now from the customer's view, we can see that an email was sent from the service desk. When we open the ticket, we can see that the ticket is in progress. We will respond to the message with a thank you. From the agent's view, we can see that a comment was added to the ticket. We will resolve the ticket. When we switch back to the customer's view, we can see that the ticket was closed with a comment that the ticket was resolved. We also have the opportunity to rate the support that it was given. Click on Very Good and add a new comment. Finally, when we go to the agent's view and refresh the page, we can see that the satisfaction rating was updated. Let's start validating the chat support. We will open our chat configurations. As you can see, the Slack workspace is linked. Let's open our Slack workspace. The Help CSD channel is the channel where end users can request help. The Agent CSD channel allows agents to assign, triage, comment and work on issues. Let's now invite one of our customers to our Slack workspace. Let's switch to our customer's view. As you can see, a notification has been sent to join the channel. Let's join the channel sign in or register an account to join the support channel. As you can see, we now have access to the support channel Help CSD. Let's raise a request by typing the forward slash and selecting raise a request from Atlassian Assist. We can choose among multiple options. Let's select customer support. Enter a title and description.
If we now go to the Assist app, you can see a new notification. You can see that a new ticket was created with IDC SD32. Open the thread to check out the details. We can see that there was a reply by the bot that the request was raised. Now, let's switch to the agent's view. Open the thread and assign the ticket to yourself by clicking Take It. You can see that the ticket has been assigned to MSA Rebels. We will now start working on the ticket and add a reply that we are investigating the issue. When we switch back to our customer's view, we can see that the status has changed in the reply from the agent. Now, let's see what happens behind the scenes in the Jira service management project. We will switch back to the agent's view. Click on the URL of the ticket that we are working on. As you can see, all modifications to the ticket are there, including the chat replies which are added as comments. We can also reply to the comments to the customer, and the customer will think that the reply is from the chat. Let's switch back to the customer's view. You can see the new reply from the agent. We will now go back to the agent's channel and resolve the ticket. Change the status to resolve and add a resolution. Now in the customer's view, we get the option to rate our service. We will give the agent a very good rating. And when we switch to our agent's view and look at the ticket, we can see that the rating is reflected. And this is how you can create a Jira service management project with multiple methods for your customers to raise requests. Please subscribe if you would like to be notified on new Jira tutorials.